my name is Luis Fernando and welcome to my channel. If you are planning to travel to Cartagena, this is your video because I'm a local and I want to show you what are the most important things to do in Cartagena. This is the top 10 of the most iconic places in Cartagena. Please stay tuned because you are going to enjoy this video. Cartagena de Indias is one of the most visited tourist cities in Colombia. It is known as the Wall City or Corralito de Piedra, and its historic center is the favorite place for tourists who visit it. Recently, I made a video of the top 10 tourist attractions in Cartagena. If you haven't seen it yet, I invite you to watch it after you finish this video. That way today, I want to focus on the top 10 attractions within the Wall City. Remember that I'm a local who lived in this beautiful city for 6 years. So, stay until the end of the video, because I'm going to give you my best tips and recommendations to make your visit perfect. Woohoo! Here we go! At number 10, we have the Bovedas, the vaults. Located in the San Diego neighborhood, the Bovedas were a prison during the Spanish colonial era. Today, they are a set of warehouses where they sell handicrafts, artwork, hammocks, hats, purses, ornaments, clothes, and native products from the Caribbean region of Colombia. The Bovedas are open every day of the year from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. If you are looking for beautiful regional products, I recommend going to the Bovedas. You will probably fall in love with some of the products they sell here and you will be able to take home an interesting souvenir of Cartagena. Woohoo! Here we go! At number 9, we find the Cartagena Cathedral. The Cartagena Cathedral is a Catholic church building constructed in 1577. It is the seat of the Archbishop of Cartagena de Indias and one of the oldest Episcopal seats on the continent. Its Spanish Renaissance architecture is worthy of admiration, and I recommend visiting it regardless of your religious or moral inclination because it is an imposing building. In Cartagena, it's very common for weddings to be held in this type of church. People from all over Colombia and even many parts of the world select the historic center of Cartagena as their place to get married. Woohoo! Here we go! At number 8, we have the clock tower. It is the main entrance to the walled city, meaning it is a must visit place to enter the historic center. The clock in the tower has been working since 1874, and in the square you can find many activities and people gather at all hours of the day. Here you can also find the Portal de los Dulces, where you can enjoy the native sweets of Cartagena. I recommend trying the cocadas, conservas de leche, and panderitos. Likewise, in this square, you will find the bar Donde Fidel, an iconic place where you can listen to the best salsa music in the world. It is important to highlight that at night, the clock tower square is a well-known focus of prostitution. Woohoo! Here we go! In the top 7, we find Bolívar Square. Right next to the Cathedral of Cartagena, you'll see Bolívar Square, a park founded in honor of Simón Bolívar, liberator of Colombia and its neighbor countries. In this park, you'll find an attraction that I highly recommend, which is the Palace of the Inquisition, a museum where you'll learn 
interesting stories about how witches were punished during the time of the Spanish Inquisition. The park is visited daily by many tourists, and as a curious fact, I tell you that in the center of Cartagena, there are many guided walking tours in English or Spanish, so you can learn all the details of each magical place. Perfect, Simon Bolivar. Why he is going forward. Woohoo! Here we go! In position number six, we have the restaurant Don de Magola. You cannot visit the walled city without trying the delights of Cartagena's cuisine. In the San Diego neighborhood, there's a place that sells the most renowned egg arepas in all of Cartagena. It's called Don de Magola, and the site became famous for a visit by the traveling chef Anthony Bourdain. In this place, I recommend the egg arepas, empanadas, and carimañolas. If you accompany them with a corozo juice, your visit will be perfect. Here we go! In the top 5 we find Santo Domingo Square. It's the square where is located Santo Domingo Church and it said that the devil was the one who bent one of its towers as you can see on the screen. This square is a place where you can eat outdoors at some restaurants. I recommend that before you sit down Check the ratings of the places on platforms like TripAdvisor or Google Maps. In the square, you will also find one of the famous fat women or sculptors by the master Fernando Botero. In addition, the balconies of the building facing the church are considered the most beautiful in all of Cartagena. If you are enjoying this video, I want to invite you to give me a like. And I want to invite you also to follow me in all my social media. It's on the screen right now. And also, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel. In that way, you will be able to see all the videos I upload each week. Woohoo! Here we go! In the position number four, we have the Sanctuary of San Pedro. San Pedro Claver is considered the patron saint of slaves. This saint was characterized by his human treatment towards slaves during the time of the Spanish conquest. The sanctuary is a building consisting of a church and a museum, which was the house where San Pedro Claver lived. Don't miss entering this museum, as the stories you learn there are wonderful. Outside the building, there's a square with some restaurants. Remember that in the historic downtown, you can also take a carriage ride. But even though I respect this practice, I'm part of the many people who are against it because these carriages are still pulled by horses. Woohoo! Here we go! In the top three, we find San Diego Square. This is my favorite square located in the historic center of Cartagena. In this square, you will find many restaurants and outdoor bars. To choose a restaurant, I always advise you to search on TripAdvisor or Google Maps. In the center of Cartagena, there are many excellent options. In San Diego Square, you will also find some craft markets, as well as the School of Fine Arts and one of the main hotels in the city, the Santa Clara Hotel. Woohoo! Here we go! In the position number two, we have the Alquimico Bar. 
if you watch my weekly videos, you'll know I've already talked about this bar before. If you like good cocktails, meeting people from all over the world and good music, you cannot miss this place. The only negative aspect is that sometimes there are long lines to get in, but the experience is very pleasant. As a fun fact, I tell you that this bar is on the list of the 50 best bars in the world. Here we go! I want to give you a surprise and this is a special extra position in our top 10. If you are in Cartagena, don't forget to walk on the walls. It is a relaxing activity as you can blend in with its magic and the delicious sea breeze. One place where you can have a drink on the walls is the Café del Mar Bar. It is important to note that walking in the center of Cartagena is not dangerous, but I don't recommend walking on some parts of the walls late at night, especially if there's no one around. As a tip, I want to tell you that if you take a picture with one of these palenqueras, you should give them a tip. Woohoo! Here we go! In the top one, we have La Cerrezuela Shopping Center. I love shopping malls, and this is my favorite place in all of Cartagena. It used to be a bullfighting arena, but it was rebuilt some years ago and became an imposing shopping center where you find top brand stores. I have had the fortune of visiting many shopping malls around the world, and this is one of my favorites. In the mall, you will find a great gastronomic offer, and I tell you that here you can find the iconic restaurant Andres Carne de Res in Cartagena. If you come to Cartagena, do not miss this visit under any circumstances. And here from Cerrezuela Mall, it's time to say goodbye. I hope you guys uh, enjoy this video. Uh, please give me a like and please subscribe to my channel. Let's see you in another adventure. Goodbye. <laughs>